Hey Savage family, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make my spicy shrimp ramen noodles. Yeah, you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. So first I start off with some cabbage and some carrots, some red peppers as well as some green onions. I slice this up already. I'm going to start with some shrimp, a jumbo shrimp already deveined, cleaned. I'm going to start seasoning it with a little Cajun, some Cajun seasoning. I'm going to use some black pepper. I'm going to add some garlic. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. And then I'm going to add some minced garlic as well. And now I'm just going to mix that around. I know y'all probably like, why she only got so much shrimp? Because I'm about to eat all the shrimp. I'm really like a noodle person. I love me some noodles. But yeah, here I'm just going to mix it around and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to grab me a nice pot. I'm using some olive oil. I want to let this get hot for about two minutes. And I'm just going to add my shrimp. As you guys may or may not know, shrimp actually doesn't take too long to cook. So as I am placing this here, I want to actually let it cook on one side for about three minutes. And then I'm going to flip it as I'm going to show you. And then I want to let the other side cook for another two to three minutes as well. So now the other side is cooked. I'm going to flip it. And I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes as well. So I want to show you guys what it looks like. And this is what one of the shrimps look like. Okay, got it. I like my shrimp to be a little a little bird, a little bird, I'm going to call it that. And then here I'm just going to remove all the shrimp because I'm going to use this pot to create my ramen noodles. So I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Then I'm going to add my carrots, my green onions, my red pepper and cabbage. What I'm going to do with this on a low heat, I'm just going to saute this. I don't want it to be mushy, but I still want everything to still have its crunch. So I'm just going to saute this around. As I'm doing here, just saute it around in the oil. Make sure that everything gets coated. And I'm just going to saute this. And this is going to be on low heat. I do this for about 30 seconds. And then I just let it sit for like a minute. So next what I'm going to be using is some minced garlic. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of some garlic. I'm going to add that in and then I'm just going to mix that around as well. Make sure that everything's incorporated. The oil with the garlic as well as, uh, as, well as the mixed vegetables. If you have chicken broth, you can use chicken broth. I have water. So I'm going to use water as my broth. It depends if you want a lot of water, if you don't, but I like a lot. And here I'm going to use some reduced sodium soy sauce. I like some soy sauce too, so I'm going to add a generous amount. And then next what I'm going to use is one of my favorite sauces, which is sweet chili sauce. I'm going to use a little bit. I'm not going to add too much. As you can see here, I'm adding the sauce. And I'm actually going to go back in and add the soy sauce too, because I want it to be a little darker. Now I'm just going to add me some salt for taste. And y'all know I like me hot, so that is cayenne pepper. So here I'm going to add one cube. This is a chicken bouillon. I'm just going to crumble it up, place this in the ramen noodles, and I'm just going to mix everything around. Next, what I'm going to do is want to keep this on a boil for about five minutes just to have a simmer. But before I do that, I'm going to add the main ingredient, which is top ramen shrimp flavor. No, I'm not using no CD. Um, I'm not using the packet because it got like hella sodium. I'm just going to add the noodles here. I'm going to cover this and I'm going to have this sit for a few minutes. I'm going to come back and actually have it be separated. So here I'm just going to 
separate the noodles make sure i mix everything together and literally it's almost done you guys y'all know how quick it is to make ramen but i just want to be extra because i was in a mood for some noodles so i said why not make some ramen noodles chef savage style so here i'm just going to incorporate everything then when i'm done i'm actually going to cover this with a lid i'm going to have it sit for another two to three minutes but before i even do that i have to make sure that i go back and i add the main ingredient the main ingredient is the shrimp you guys so after this i'm going to add the shrimp so here i just place them in there and all that juice that was from the shrimp too i know y'all seen a little bit in there i don't go i don't let nothing go to waste I'm just going to mix everything together, then I'm going to place the lid on top of it, have it sit for about two to three minutes, and literally, your ramen is done. If you, oh, I wish you guys can smell this. This smells so good. But here, just so you know that the noodles is done, you can start to see that the texture of the noodle changes. So if you ever want to know how can you tell if the noodles are done, the texture of the noodle starts to change. So as you guys can see here, it is well done and it is cooked. So now I'm going to show you guys how I plate. I'm going to add the noodles to the bowl. And don't, don't try, like don't be scared to try and be messy. When it comes to food, everything's going to be messy, but make sure you clean up when you're done. So here I'm just plating everything together, but look at that coloration, you guys. It just looks so good. Here I'm just going to add the broth. My God. Whew. And then I'm going to just continue to top it off. I cleaned it up and I love me some boiled eggs. So I added two boiled eggs. I'm going to top it off with some parsley. And there you guys have it. It's so simple yet easy, delicate. If you ever want to add some spice, just like i did here and this is what i'm doing right now i'm adding some parsley we call this food grass food grass for the soul make sure that the food looks good i just want to say thank you guys so much for participating with me and staying all the way to the end of the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel send this to any of your friends and family as well as hitting that like button i'm going to see you guys next time by the grace of god love you